Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics. Didn't have any plants to turn up when it was meant to, so I'm running very low on any plants or anything like that. Um, I've got the big fish delivery coming today. Ordered some more cool fish, so place should be looking pretty damn sweet once I get this delivery. Got some nice big fish coming and some just some nice stuff that we don't usually get in. Um, we have to do some work my side. We're going to go down and do some handling today. Try my best to do some handling, uh, and then do, 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 do. most of the day is probably going to be sorting out the fish delivery and stuff like that. So I'll try my best, make a nice little video for you, and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share as well. You know me; I always forget to say that. Um, so we're uh, just on the phone. So anybody missing the phone? Found it on Greatfield Road. Um, phone is safe in the shop um, it is well if you've lost your phone you should know by this case that it's your phone so I'm not going to say any more information you come in the shop and you know the code to get into it you can have the phone so uh, we'll have some, uh, proof that it's yours and stuff like that um, of course if someone phones the phone today I'll answer it and tell them where it is and stuff like that but your phone is safe with me so don't worry okay um, so I'm going to be putting it behind I'll put it in the safe now so be absolutely completely safe and then um, as soon as you realise you've lost it or uh, anything like that come and see me because I'll keep it safe for you I'd like to do today if we get a chance I'd like to rearrange this div because it's looking a little bit worse for wear now the, um, the moss has started to shrink and stuff like that so I think it needs, a, needs freshening up and a new deck all put in so I'm going to try and jump on that today as well um, I think that will be good for us, get it nice and pretty and then uh, put some more plants in there maybe, I think that's going to be a good one, put more plants and then uh, some more moss and stuff like that, so we'll, uh, I think I'll jump on that now because we haven't had the fish yet, so I'll jump on that now so it's like 3 o'clock and I've still got no fish, so may as well jump on this, get something done today and then uh, we can fill in the rest of the day with some handling and stuff like that I'm most likely going to end up staying over today by the looks of it, if the fish come at this time it's going to take me till 6 o'clock to get them acclimated so it's going to be a long day for me today, I'm afraid, but we'll have a look at the fish and stuff like that as they come, and I'll do a nice video on that, but uh, we can jump on, get a nice tree frog set up done. So I've literally just took the wood out. First mission is we've got to find the frog. I believe he's going to be in this area, hiding in the moss. So we're going to have to slowly excavate it out, see if we can find him. He's not at the top or anything, so he's just somewhere in this area. Um, so we can dig him out, try and find him, and we can do the setup once we found him. So, no frog there. No. Uh, this is one big piece of wood. This is. Whoa! There he is. There we go, nice little tree frog. So we need to catch him up now so that we can carry on doing this without having to worry about him. Okay, so this is going to be hard to do with one hand. So we've got to convince the frog that it is the best case scenario is that we want him to go in the box. And he's decided, I don't want to go in the box. I don't want to go in the box. I don't want to, I don't want to go in the box. Don't make me go in the box, please. Don't make me go in the box. But the box is good. The box is good, see? Oh, there we go, he's in the box. i got to stop it. Sorry, I needed my spare hand, I needed to grab the lid. So there we go, one safe frog. So I'm going to move him out of the way, so he doesn't get knocked around. I'm going to put him, I think I'll put him underneath down there, keep him safe. As soon as I started stripping the tank down, the fish have come. Oh, so we have to jump on some of the fish because they're in bags. Woo! I've got some nice koi! Oh, look at them. Woo. Oh, my bad shoulder. So we've got some nice koi, doing really well on the koi. So we're going to put these in the big vat. So they're going to be with the, the rehome goldfish, the ones that are having, living out their best life in these in the big tank. And um, they're going to now have some koi friends. So we've still got to do all the acclimations and stuff like that. So... You know, we've got to do everything properly. Can't be messing with me. I should have swapped arms. 
Put me bad shoulder. Oh, there are some stunners. There are some absolute stunners in there. That bottom one is nice. But, ooh. So I've got 10, five to six inch grade A koi. That's what I'm talking about. So I've got them set up here now, I'll give you a little look. You can't see much at the moment. So literally we're getting the temperatures to mix. So the temperature in this bag will soon match the temperature in the water. Then we're gonna mix the, um, the waters together by putting some of this water into the bag and then we release the fish. It takes about half hour. But we might not have long because the, uh, the bag's getting a bit deflated. So that means they're using the air up. So what I might have to do is open it and get it to float a bit sooner so I can let the air in. So there we go. They sit there, they can have a little, they can have a, uh, a bit of air, fresh air now. But we probably won't put this water in here because you can see it's all, we've been pooing and stuff in the bag, so we don't really want that. That one there, the one at the bottom, wow, I like that one. So yeah, there will be 15 minutes and we can release them. No, 15 minutes floating, 15 minutes dunking, then we can release them. So we've got half hour yet. Took the big bit of uh, the wood out. So now we're literally just going to get some of this moss out now. Because there was quite a bit I built up at the back of there. We need to clean all the tank as well because it's gone a bit... Looks like it's algae starting to grow on it from all the water being at the back. So, uh, and where it is, it sits right there in the window so it gets a bit of sun on the back. So we can avoid that. So I think this plant is doing so well, I'm not going to mess with it. That can stay there and we can work around from that, I think. I mean, that's the best option. So clean to the glass now. So I'm thinking I like to look at this down the back. So it fits a lot better than the rest of it does. Oh, I like that. That fits lovely. A little bit not quite tall enough, but I think I'm happy with that. That's going to look nice. I'm going to see if I find anything to put here. Found a piece of wood. I want to cut this angle off it though here. I don't like it. I want it flatter. So if I get rid of that, it'll be a lot flatter. Then I'm going to come across here like that. So I'm going to do that. That's better. Look at that. We have a nice flat finish against the back now. We should do. So I need to go this way. So I need to put the bottom in first. Like so. And then can we get this in? Not quite just yet. Does a bit, but I might have to get a bit of that there so I can get a little bit more in because so I'm just a bit off at the back. I cut that little bit off, it fits a lot better now. I managed to get, I'm not quite back, but I am at the bottom. So, what I'm going to do is just fill this up with moss so you can't get back there, fill these cracks with moss, and we got a nice background for him to come we can do like some sort of tree or plants here for him I think but I think that's gonna look quite nice a bit better than what was there before a bit more of the backs covered and stuff like that so I think that's gonna look a bit better we've got a flat bottom and I don't like flat bottoms we like a big chunky bottom <laughs> so we want a nice big bit of chunk up here so we can come down and then uh, might be have a plant up here I mean, that might give it different heights and stuff, then we might be able to have a branch coming up here. So I'm going to get some more soil and we fill this in up here. Whoa. So, try not to make a mess. I've already made a mess. First scoop and I've made a mess. Whoa. So I'm going to make this quite a high bank, I think. Fill it right up. We'll move the water bowl to this corner here. And then we can carve this out then for a little plant pot, maybe. Um, and then we make it all mossy and stuff like that. So I'll uh, show you when I'm ready to put a plant in here, I think. A little hole at the back, ready for my little plant. So that goes in there like that. And we can just push that up. A bit at the back of it, make it a bit sturdier. Push it in. We that looks a bit better, doesn't it? So we got a plant up there, plant down there, water bowl, 
I'm going to cover this with moss now and I've got a nice bit of bark, bark tube. So I'm going to fill that up with moss so uh, he can't get in it and we don't lose him. And then I'm thinking... Mm, I kind of like it, I kind of don't. Uh, I'll see what other bits I've got. All I've done is I've got this little one, I've just wedged it in place. Like that. Oh no, it's fell now, I've said that. Now you've got to be careful when you're wedging stuff. We want it to pop the glass. We want it to have just enough tension. You wiggle and nothing happens. So plenty for the frog that is to jump on. A couple of taps. It does turn a little bit. Oh, come on, wedge it in place. Come on, come on. We can get it in place. There you go. Sweet. So we've got a random branch going across. So now we've got to fill it with moss. Once all the moss. So where's I put the moss? Where's I put the moss? Hey, moss. So we want to pour this away for a start. We need to give it a clean as well. Uh, so we're going to get all this moss. Chuck it all around. We want to lift the plants up so we go underneath the plants if we can. And then we'll put a bit more over here. A bit more down the bank. So what do you reckon? A bit more interesting. We've still got to do the little bit of fillers at the top. So, let's get a nice little bit spread about. Wedge it all in the gaps at the top. Stop the frog getting about. There we go. We've got all the little bits up there all crammed with moss. The little gaps, all that done with moss. So that's what we've got now. Nice little tree enclosure for him, so give it a spray down. Give it a good old spray. I've right, cleaned and done the bowl as well. So we're all raring to go now. We just need a frog. So there we go, let's go get the frog. There he is. There we go, come on, lid. Oh, I'm going to have to get better at one-handed lid work, I have to admit. Really, I'm going to have to do better. So, there we go. Come on, little dude. You know you want to jump. You need to have some more crickets. He wants to put some fat on. There we go. Whee, and he's off. So, there we go. We've got a nice, happy frog. So, he's going to go around in there now. He's going to find a little hiding spot. He's going to sit and chill in there now. Hopefully... He finds a nice little spot where he can hide and uh, put a little bit of that moss in there because I like this moss. We have a little slightly different coloured moss around the water. There we go. With different colours in there. It almost looks, almost looks like it's a bit more alive because it's down by the water. I don't know. You know me, just coming up with random ideas. I'll cover this bit here with moss. Looks a bit better. And then, yeah, I'm happy with that. So we've got the frog in. And everybody's happy. Look at that. Proper job. Oh, so we've got a wheel of fish box, and I've got Excalibur. So we're going to open it up, try not to pop any fish bags. We don't want to be picking up fish. So we've got two boxes, we've got two boxes. We've got another box over there. So, what's we got in the box? Paddox can open it. Come on, hard work. Woo! Look at all the fish in the bag. Look at all the fishes. I mean, we're doing well, we're doing well, got some nice fish. Nothing spectacular in this one, I think the cool stuff's in this one. So, uh, when we come back we can sort that out. I'm going to have to start putting these in the tanks now. The water's looking pretty nasty now, so I really want to get these out there. So, uh, we can try and let them swim out. Come on everybody. Come 
I want to swim out because I don't want this nasty water going in the tank. No, I'm going to have to net them out because they ain't having it. I just don't want all this throwing up food and stuff to go back in there. Oh, look at that one. Oh my God, that is stunning. Wow, 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 look at it. So, let's get another one. We've got another dark one. Oh my God, look at those fish. Absolutely stunning. Who are we going to get this time? Well, we've got a tour, we've got a tour. Oh, calm down lads, calm down lads, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, there we go, there we go, see? There we go, everyone's going off nice and chilled. Got a lot of these dark ones. Oh, we've got some nice ones. Oh, calm down, there we go, there we go lads. There we go, there we go. Couple more, couple more, couple more. Oh, it's got a nice white one. And have we got a yellow? We've still got one left in the bag. There we go, last one. Oh, calm down mate, you okay? Oh, he's got a spot on his side and a spot on his head, that's cool. Is that everybody out the bag? Yes, everybody out the bag, so I can remove this now and throw the nasty water away. Whoa, there we go. So this should be where the uh, cool fish are. Cut that there, cut that there. Slice it down this side. Ah, okay, so half it hasn't come. Disappointed. Disapp oh no, there's some in there. I'm still missing some though. Finally got everybody in and floating. Thank God for that. So, I think it's like five o'clock now. Um, so I think it's almost time to shut the shop. But I will, once everybody is completely in the water, I'm going to turn the lights on for 30 seconds, do a little clip for you lot, and then um, we can turn it off and then we can go home. So, um, but what we can do, I've released the koi, because they were the first ones to go in, so they're the first ones acclimated, so the first ones ready. So, uh, you've seen me, you've just seen me release them, so uh, let's have a look at them swimming around. There are some stunners in there. So, they're not used to being in a tank where people can see them. So they, uh, they kind of are oh, crapping their pants at the moment. But let's give them a day or two and they'll settle down. Look at them. They are some stunning koi. I'm really happy with them. He's scared of the goldfish at the moment. Yeah, yeah. But yeah they're doing really well. Um, it's been Tuesday now, they'll be on sale. But they're doing really well. Even the mussels are doing well, which is nice. So maybe one day I'll have some of the nice koi that we've got on these displays. That's like you're talking thousand pounds, thousands and thousands of pounds. So. Maybe one day, you never know. So everybody's in, so I'm going around, just put the, quickly put the lights on for you. And then uh, we can have a look at the, uh, the new fish that's coming. So, we've got cherry barbs. They're a nice fish, to be fair. We've got them on the display tank. Everybody loves them on the display tank. Uh, we've got some of the glass catfish. So there's literally just the skeletons in them. That's all you can see. Uh, we've got some female guppies this side. Uh, oh, and we've got some um, phantom widow, black widow tetras. They're really nice, really nice fish. They are. I really do like them. What I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn the camera around. There we go. There's our female guppies. So who do we put in this side? We've got some new gramis. Quite nice. Uh, what do we get over here? Ah, we've got some mullets. Some mullets, got some platters. Uh, got loads of zebra danios and that in stock now. 
ready for the temperate setups. Uh, should have some really nice fish in here. Uh, oh, there they are. Albino Tiger Oscars. Only little babies at the moment, but uh, they should be really nice. Uh, what's we got in here? So this should be. So we've got some nice black uh, sword tails. Then we've got the nice standard ones. Uh, and I've had some albino sharks come in. They're really nice. So I think we're doing all right so far. We're doing all right so far, I believe. So, with some nice wagtail platters. We've got some nice, he's just evil. Just wants to attack me. Uh, got some more mollies in here, which are a sorted bunch. Uh, oh, and I got some harlequins. I do like harlequins. There we go. So, with some nice harlequins. They'll colour up over the next couple of days a bit more. And then we've had some uh, little yo-yo loaches as well. Hello mate, how you doing? Yeah, so some little nice yo-yo loaches. Yeah, I think that's everybody new today. There he is, chilling in his new little enclosure. Happy little frog. I think it looks the part, I do think it looks quite nice. Oh well, I completely forgot to do handling again. So as I had so many customers today waiting for the delivery, trying to jump on that tank job, I completely forgot to do the handling. So fingers crossed, we've got Meg in tomorrow, we'll be able to do a little bit more handling because there's going to be a bit more people on site, so we can, I haven't got to be batting around doing 10 things at once. So uh, slowly getting into the rhythm of it, getting a bit better at it, but uh, it's still hard running, running both shops, maintaining both shops and doing everything properly, it's, it's, it's a big learning curve trying to do everything all at once. So I'm trying my best, but fingers crossed we have made a good video out of it today, of all our new fish and stuff like that, and uh, the new tree frog set up. So I'll, um, please like, subscribe, comment and share for me. If you would like to watch another video, I shall have a box there for you. If you want to watch a playlist, it should be there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it should be up there. So I'll, uh, I'll see you in the future. Bye.